Hi, well, hello and welcome to Potentials Unleashed. Uh, this is the first video that I'm doing. Uh, it's a tutorial on the autofill feature of Excel. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you need is some data, of course. And I'm just going to do a few names here. Oh, a little bit out of order. Uh, doesn't mean too much to you, but basically this these are my family members and I said out of order because Tyler and Andrew should be switched Andrew is the older and uh, uh, last name here is Austin so basically what we're doing here is I'm going to show you a, a nice trick using this little box here in the corner of the cell called the auto fill box now there's several ways to use this and uh, in it, if you have a small table like this it's no problem to use this feature which is basically hover your mouse over the auto fill box and hold down your left mouse button and drag it down to the last row over here and let go and it auto fills all the all the word Austin all the way down now I'm gonna hit control Z which is the undo feature which will uh, undo the last thing that I did and now here's the trick now again if it's a small table it's no big deal to just drag it down and let go and you're, you're done but let's say you have hundreds or even thousands of rows down here now, you can still do that feature, but it does take a while, and you're, you could fumble you know, your fingers on the mouse and let go, and then whatever. Not a big deal, but um, it, it can be uh, a little bit time-consuming if you have a ton of rows here. So this trick will work. Uh, it doesn't matter how many rows you have, whether it's just six, as I have here, or if there's hundreds or thousands. What you do is you take your mouse, hover it over the little autofill box until it turns into the, to the plus symbol, and then just simply double click your left mouse button and boom there you go now that is a huge time saver and uh, works much better than trying to drag it down all the way down again no big deal if it's a small table but longer tables that's a huge time saver now this also works with formulas that was just a static word as you can see up here uh, but we can also use formulas so putting the equal sign in will indicate that we're using a formula here and what we do is we're going to click in this cell we use the ampersand symbol, uh, which concatenates text, uh, and then we're going to actually put a, a quote there and a space, another quote, uh, and then the ampersand sign one more time. Basically, what this does, the quote, the space, and the quote is it just adds a space in between the uh, the text fields that we're concatenating. So in this case, we're going to take the last name here. So we're basically going to take a one, this cell here, add a space and then add the second word here, which is Austin, obviously, and we're going to get Joe Austin. So now press the Enter key, and there you go. And you can see there's a space between Joe and Austin. Now, same thing. Again, you can see this is a formula. So we're going to take this autofill, double-click, and boom, everybody's filled in with the correct names. And the, uh, even if, now these are all Austin, but this could be any name whatsoever, and um, it would still work. So we can actually take this, take another name, Flanagan happens to be my wife's uh, maiden name, and you can see it automatically readjusts that. And again, from here, we can double click and it'll do, f refill everything down there with the name Flanagan and updates these as well. And if we hit undo twice, everything is back to normal, and that pretty much concludes this video tip. So that's going to do it for now, and I thank you for watching. Now, if I could just figure out how to cancel this video, would be good.